It's a spread shot. If I hold it down... It spreads in a horizontal the... line, not a vertical line. I've tried your bow. <laughs> yeah, she tries to feed me lines, and I, I, I know better. Uh, yeah, right. I'm just shooting half the time. I'm not even paying half as much attention where I'm shooting. But Who's I'm a good boy? Everything. Who's a good Loki monster? Dave you are a good Loki anyway. monster, aren't you? <laughs> oh, yes, well, no, for real. The easier problem is when you've got three monsters and you got one person <laughs> right in the middle of Loki. Say hi, Loki. I'm shooting, aiming at anything. Nope. <laughs> the, the most fun part is when you're melee and you attack and the monster just decides to move one inch to the next, uh, to the left or to the right and you just suddenly you can't hit now, your full you, combo. You think that's bad? You think that's bad? Wait until the monster runs to the other side of the zone you're in because the little lady with the bow goes eep and keeps running in a circle. You don't know pain, my friend. That sounds a little personal. <laughs> you will feel apple pain soon. When you take Spike with you. Monsters hate me. <laughs> I want to stick the rain gang on the corner her. And they go, Hoo! Yes, sir. It's you're really so awesome. annoying. I love you. Everyone's in. Tasty stuff. Ooh, we are in. Yay. See. So we got about uh, an hour and a half, right? Uh, yeah, about that, yeah. Then let's travel. Yep. Okay, you just finished the rest. You just got rid of the uh, winter wolves. Hello, Loki. You're still very much in the way. <clears throat> so, okay. The blizzard Actually, is still going uh, the next morning. Everybody that, uh, except for Olga, can give me a con save just to make sure you are not getting exhausted. Ah, uh, that sounds bad. Well, you did just have a high, you know. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Well, someone's okay. Okay, I know who to carry. Yeah. Back it is. <laughs> Me and my alpha oh. heroes. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Who's gonna carry Fred? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, exhaustion uh, isn't like you're completely helpless. Yeah, the first rank of exhaustion, it. you're just going to get a uh, disadvantage on any skill checks you make. Was it on attack store? So. Oh. I'm gonna oh. die. No, you're you're okay. You have to get like no six ranks die. of fucking exhaustion to die from exhaustion. So and it doesn't really become super dangerous until uh, the third rank when it starts giving you disadvantage on all rolls. So I should mark my exhaustion at one. Uh, it's, yeah, it's just at one. It's just a penalty to any skill checks you make. Okay. Until you get a long rest. You want the turkey or not, you doofus? Eat the turkey. You want to hmm. sleep in the sleeping bag till we arrive? Yes. Okay, I mean, technically, yeah, you I... could. As long as you're not attacked, you could fudge it a little bit by doing that. Yeah, uh, he'll he'll just sleep while I'm carrying him. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> stop trying to steal my sandwich. If we get attacked, I'm sleeping once again. If, you, if we get attacked, <laughs> if we get attacked, I'm opening the sleeping bag and letting you on the ground so you wake up. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah, nothing's going to wake you up sure like a shit ton up. of <laughs> snow on the I face. Have. Look, if you don't wake up, I have two rotten turnips. You don't want to know what I'm going to do with them if you don't wake up. <laughs> so that's my incentive. Okay, yeah. um... Now sleep. Maybe uh, anybody who wants to make the navigation back. rolls of uh, survival can make it. And, um... Gakronk, if you decide to make it, or Rax... You won't be at disadvantage because on this one because you have found the road. You'd just be at a normal roll. Oh, okay. That's reassuring. Yeah, I mean, if you weren't exhausted, it would be an advantage because, I mean, you have a road. What are we doing? Not, uh, a survival check to make sure you guys stay oriented. It still is a blizzard. Everyone? Everyone? Everyone or just them? Whoever oh, wants yeah. to help navigate. Uh, so is it for us advantage or? Yeah, anyone that isn't exhausted would have it at advantage. Not that it seems like uh, your Kronk needs anybody else. <laughs> we're fine. We know where the road's at. Between the three of us, we're gonna figure it out. Yeah. yeah. So we'll <laughs> say that you keep 
through the day, which puts you okay about right there. Another roll, real quick. Oh wait, so we traveled like a full day's worth already? Yeah, I did the other rolls, so. Okay. I'm not so going to require multiple ro rolls because you guys, you know, between all of you, you managed to stay on the road. Okay. Uh, was that eight hours? I mean, yeah, is a day longer than eight hours? Well, then Rax had a successful sleep. Cool. Mm. Cute baby. Oh, exhaustion. Cute my baby. Rolled it. Give me a con save, though, Rax, just to be sure. Because you were being jostled okay. the entire time. It was enough, you were tired enough to sleep through it. Despite, you know, being bounced around in a sleeping bag. I think my sleeping skills. Yeah, you are a power sleeper. Okay. <laughs> it will be one more night before you reach Silverfrost, best you can tell, so you might want to post guards again. Oh, yeah. Uh, should we look for a good sleeping spot first, or. You want the GM's okay. advice? Stick to staying on the road. Yeah. Because then, mean, if you get into a fight, you don't get works. extra lost. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean, it's. Yeah, fuck it. Is I, there a rock near the road? Not that you can could, see under the several feet of snow. I could pint in a way to the road, or to off the road to the campsite. Yeah. Let's just stay on the road. Okay. Uh, I would love to see how you secure pythons to just snow. I mean, I did the other one. Kitty monster. Okay. <laughs> I hope we don't get attacked by the kitty monster. Now, the kitty monster is after my sandwich, so as long as you don't have one, you're okay. I have one. <laughs> I, know, I mean, that was the last he might run now. over to Germany and then uh, uh, steal your sandwich. I still have 50 feet of rope, so I can pass that to you. No need yet. Good boy. Who's your good boy? Who's your good boy? Uh, I'm. Should I take watch first again? My sandwich in a long time. <laughs> Mine's a grilled turkey and cheese sandwich. Oh yeah, they'd be after that. Yep. They'd be gone. That's why he's pretending to be lovable and cute and invading my lap. And every time he thinks I turn away from my sandwich, he goes after the sandwich. Yeah, that's like uh, Shadow Cat with the. Uh, <laughs> yep. Should so I? Uh, I'm going first with the watch. Okay. I'll do second. Actually, do, we, do you want second? <laughs> okay. Fine, so one more nibble. Uh, I'll probably need to take third because it'll probably be the coldest point in the night. Okay, I'll take fourth then, just to switch it up. Okay. You're second, so uh, Everybody, once again, except for Olga, give me a con save through the night. <clears throat> so nothing happened. Well, I haven't said that yet, but. Okay. Yeah, it's not a disadvantage or anything. Oh, yeah, you totally recovered. <laughs> Nobody's yeah. exhausted come the next morning. Uh, do we still need to do a perception thing? Uh, no, I rolled, so you guys are safe. Cool. I do need to see if the blizzard's still going, though. Well, actually, when you wake up, the blizzard has just begun to die off. Finally! And oh, yeah, it turns out you were maybe a few hours away because you could see the smoke from the forges of Silverfrost. Still snow. Oh yeah, still very snowy. And I just slept 16 hours. Nice. <laughs> yeah, Typical yeah. wizard nap. <laughs> Needed that sleep. Ah, uh, yum, yum, yum. Yep. Let us move on then. Pack up the stuff. Yeah, you still think you have about a half a half oh. a day of uh, travel left before you. So, 
If you would like to give me perception checks along the way, let me know. Never. Never gonna happen. How can I roll so badly on perception? I don't know. Just just remember that you're it's in a insane. sleeping bag, so... <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're Distracted by... No. Mm. Yeah. I have a 19... Yeah, you guys don't, don't see that. Oh. You're busy playing in the snow. <laughs> mm. I'll try to pick up a handful of snow and drop it on Rogo's back. I mean, you got Mage Hand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or you could just tell me to do it. Where's what the fun in that? Happen? And I'm gonna st stop it under your shirt. <laughs> <laughs> so. Um, do I like? Is, is it obvious to me that it was the, his mage hand, or do I need to perceive it? Uh, you would need to perceive because he did do it from behind you. But I mean, you're going to be advantage because no one's around oh. you. Then should I re-roll that, or just roll just roll a normal? second one? Take the highest. <laughs> yeah, you're absolutely sure it was Rax. Okay, uh, I want to take a hand. No, you're still in the sleeping bag. I want to shut the sleeping bag. I want to pick up a hand of snow, a uh, full hand of snow on the other one, and stuff it into the sleeping bag. <laughs> oh, jeez. Now the sleeping bag so bad. That, 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 wait, I'm not done. I'm oh, no. Close the sleeping bag again and shake it. <laughs> How's that for a blizzard? <laughs> Just made yourself a tiefling snow cone, huh? <laughs> Okay, now come out and let me dry you off. No more shenanigans. Fine! <laughs> Everything you'll do to me, you'll get back in double. Because I love you. God. <laughs> <laughs> Is that true? Uh, but with um, your perception roll, Ryoko. Do you really want to try asking? Oh, God. No. Okay. Do it. Yeah. Do it. Press your luck. I'll go next to Olga. Pick up a you wanna? Ball. I'll dodge it. <laughs> We're gonna have a mage hand snowball next. <laughs> um, do I need to do an acrobatics check? Oops, I didn't miss. For what? For dodging the snowball from Rax. I mean, you have AC, so... If oh, he yeah, doesn't make that attack AC. roll, it's just gonna miss you anyway. <laughs> or hit you somewhere that you're armored. <laughs> Though it seems like somebody else is joining in on the snowball fight. <laughs> yep. Okay, I'll do a snowball too then. I just <clears throat> threw a snowball at the Ryoko. Well, that everybody missed. Follow her. her. <laughs> God. <laughs> do I? Do we need to roll a acrobatics for trying to throw something at someone? A snowball. Do it. What do we need to? Do it. Just an attack roll. roll. Attack roll with mm -hmm. what? Like hands? I don't know. Is Rex equipped by Spike? Do we need to do an unarmed strike? I ran out. I don't, I don't yeah, just roll as an unarmed strike and it would, you know, no damage, mind you. There's snowballs, unless you pack rocks in it or something. Okay, I'll, I'll try to just roll the attack, but I'm not sure how this works. We are coping rocks by the ankles to try to hit the snowballs. <laughs> Ow! Yeah, I, mean, I hit you with that snowball. Yeah, those things. I picked up a lot of chunks for that, y'all. I think I hit myself with my snowball. <laughs> that takes skill. <laughs> now it says you hit uh, Ryoko. Hitting Ryoko again with a snowball. One for you as well, Olga. <laughs> God. Critic, critic, Olga. Snowball to the eye. That one stings. <laughs> that one has a stone in it. Did that actually take away Olga's hit points? Yeah, yeah I'm still they, counting them as unarmed yeah. strikes. I'm just re removing the damage. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Olga, did you just attack just... yourself? Ah! Well, you're rolling acrobatics. You need to punch. <laughs> need the unarmed strike. But... You're dodging snowballs with that acrobatic skill. You need to do it like this. Or not like that. Oh. <laughs> yeah, do it like that. Just miss. <laughs> Swish. Swish. Yeah. Snowball, I hit you hard. Matt. 
Stop at me! Throwing snowballs! Smack. Oh wow. Everybody's oh, hitting that poor mage. <laughs> <laughs> God. Ah. <laughs> oh, God. Jesus. Oh, that, <laughs> that that was a sneak attack there. Yeah. Snowball! Oops. At this rate, Olga's gonna start throwing snow use boulders. My long rest skill here in a moment. Uh, can I try to burn that snowball while it's flying at me with my dragon's breath? I mean, but if you I, use it, yeah. I, I mean, you. Okay, it's just I, I snow. I burn both of those snowballs coming at me with my dragon's breath. I'm moving away. <laughs> 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 well. <laughs> Are you really going to kill me with that? <laughs> you have fire resistance. That's just the snowballs. You said chill home on fire. <laughs> yeah, chill home. Oh, the trees just went. Okay, how about this? I'll throw a snowball far, far, high up in the air, and you try to shoot it with your bow. <laughs> God. I'll, I'll give it a shot. Do I'm I need to roll the throw? throw? Um, roll me, um, let's see, for that one, give me, just roll a dex check, because it would count as a, a ranged weapon. Yeah, you throw it quite well. I'm going to yeah. roll randomly to see what its AC is. Whoops. Sorry. <laughs> well, <laughs> doesn't hit the, the snowball and almost hits Ryoko. <laughs> I just... Like, I just dodge it with my, it, it aims for my foot, and I just dodge it, like, by picking up my foot. I'm looking at him, a snowball. <laughs> <laughs> You're blue. The ice is blue. <laughs> yeah, I was confused then. I tried to throw a snowball at Shimshot and missed her. I want to make a snow angel. Or a snow dragon. So well, let's see if you remember that you still have the wizard on your back as you do that. <laughs> I mean, that's fine. Oh, well. <laughs> you, can you can quickly climb around to my belly area. He's in a sleeping bag. He can't climb anywhere. Well, I'm, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm moving the sleeping bag. There you go. <laughs> now. Did you just drop me? No, I, I didn't we drop you. I, I dropped myself with you. He <laughs> almost laid down on top of you and made a snow dragon. <laughs> Well, how about we build a snowman in community effort here? Well, that sounds good. <laughs> like, we get each one. Okay. What are you flirting about? I'm, I'm flirting with Rax. Hey, Bebe. <laughs> you can't escape this time. <laughs> <laughs> You're all wrapped up there. <laughs> Take my hand. Warm them. Okay. Uh, They're freezing. Okay. I'll wrap them. We need to get. I'm yes. going to make the biggest snowball for the, for the bottom layer of the snowman. Oh, God. <laughs> Who's going to make the middle one? We're, we're making a five five ball snowman. Each one takes a ball. Five. Wow. Okay. That's going to be a big damn snowman. snowman. <laughs> do I have to make a strength check to be the bottom? No, I'll do the bottom. Or we can compete against it. Let's do a I mean, arm wrestling contest. Who, who gets to, to do the bottom? No, just... You have to lift it up. Are you sure want... about that, Yoko? Yes. <laughs> Can I, I am try strong. to sneak away from that? Now. <laughs> Free me. Okay, let's see. That's uh, the worst uh, strength uh, check uh, I've uh, ever uh, seen uh, Olga uh, roll. Uh, there you go, I'll get to do the biggest one. Oh, yeah. We're trying to build a snowman. We're building a snowman? I did yes, that at... Five part snowman. Instead of out of damage. <laughs> Why would you get advantage? You wanted to do a snowman? Because I'm I a... make one. I mean, a, a, a barbaric. She, she can rage. Oh, you're... I already dragon. made mine. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You have the smallest one. I don't know. Do you have an insight check on that. Given that he could roll, uh, make one five foot, uh, a five cubic feet. <laughs> that's a pretty damn big snowball at that point. Oh, Wait, oh, that, cool. that's the size of a good car. Come but uh, yeah, you could roll position. wisdom check on that. Oh, cool. Wisdom. Okay. I got wisdom. Yeah. Okay. No. No, you totally buy it. <laughs> okay. Oh, Beautiful sweet. Snowball. You made it. How about you roll it to me <clears throat> over here then so we can put stuff on it? Nope. It's a nope. whole ass snowman. Nope. Are you sure? I made it already. 
Yeah, it's like, unfortunately, none of you are beating his uh, spell DC, so. <laughs> so, you just did you the want? community effort alone? Wisdom. Okay, okay. Yeah. I'm fast, you know. While you guys were rolling snowballs, he was creating. <laughs> While you were arguing over the biggest ball, he made a snowman. <laughs> Nobody Jeez. beats his uh his genuine snowman right there. Yep. Yeah, as far as you guys can tell, it is a beautiful little snowman. He well, beautiful giant snowman he made. I want to oh, still make mine. Too. Snow bunnies, you can make one next to mine. Okay. Fine. So strength checks. As long as nobody you know throws a we snowball need to roll at strength it. Strength checks for that. No, nah, not for snow bunnies. Those things are tiny. No, I mean, I mean, snowman. Unless you're trying to make giant balls of snow, no. Uh, Olga, do you want to do a giant snowman? Do it together. You should build a giant snowman. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> want to do a two-part giant snowman, Olga? I tried. I made a okay snowball. Okay, let me let me make the other one then. She's winded from the snowball fight earlier. Yeah. Whoa, that was a big snowball. Damn. Cool. Apparently snow invigorates you. Ah. I do love snow. I fell over. <laughs> you just Whoa. casually like, rolled it and suddenly you fell to the side. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, now, I... now she got angry. <laughs> now I want to... I want to... Um... Is there like a something around that we can shoot with a bow that I can put on top of the snowman's head? You have turnips. Okay, then I'll put a turnip on the snowman's head, and I'm I want to try uh, to like we make we all take a bow shot and see who can hit it. Okay. And we I want to let's roll for order though. Who starts? Roll a d6 and highest goes first. Okay. Oh what me. Boom. Can you even shoot a bow, Rax? <laughs> I'm gonna shoot a fire bow, Yeah, dude. No bow only. Aww. You can try I... out my long bow. I can't use it. I don't I think he's use my crossbow. It's like I don't even I can think help you. It, it, Rax is strong enough to pull a crossbow or a okay. long bow. I mean. Nope. Okay, I have an idea. You aim it with both hands, and I'll pull it back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you aim. I'll. Pull okay. Um. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, do I we'll aim? say Grincont goes first because he has a higher deck score than Rax. Yeah, I need to teach him anyways. <laughs> <laughs> this yeah. is the part that goes forward. The pointy end goes towards the bad guy. <laughs> do I hold the string yeah. or the wooden part? You hold the wooden part. You can't yeah. hold the string. I mean, you hit the target at least. That's good. Here, I'll, I'll throw you the other one. So shot the turnip has one. a very nice arrow in it. Um, Rax, yeah. if you're going to roll it, uh, it'll be at oh, disadvantage. It's what was it? Disadvantage. Disadvantage. Yeah. One, you're not what, proficient, what and two, you're not strong enough in the first place. <laughs> oh, yeah, you because I, do I don't have, the have a bow, bow. so oh, I no. can't. Should I, I mean, if you have a crossbow, you can. Well, you don't even have that, do you? I don't have one. Because uh, I get You are your crossbow. <laughs> Should I roll it with disadvantage then? Um, no, because it used your stats. See if you can, course. um, see if you can just click the thing that Grikonk posted and use that. Oh, there you go. Uh, yeah, you can throw my no, long. I can't. No, we can't. No, okay. In that case, yeah, I could just <clears throat> do it at disadvantage and take off my bonuses. Yeah. Well, we just, it, yeah, go ahead and do that and. Oh my. Oh, oh, actually, a, he has the same same bonuses as you, I think. But oh no, he'd be two less, so that would be a fourteen. You hit the target by yeah. some miracle. Oh yeah. <laughs> so I think you're. Not... I mean, you hit it a little bit more center than Gronk did. Everybody watching you swing the bow in like a circle, trying to pull it, knows that you know by sheer luck. But hey, you did it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think then Ayumi is and. Then me and Shoshana are last. Right. Oh, yeah, that is correct. Okay, sorry. My bad. Mm -hmm. you. Oh, okay. No, that's fine. I mean, you don't have that's to follow matter. your order. 
Shoot the bow. Fine. Shoot her. Shoot her. <laughs> and I want to try my normal one too. I could be. I could waste my long rest. Uh, of unfortunately, oh, Shimshana misses the target. The Oh, you are wasting your karma. I'm using. I'm doubling. I'm doubling, <laughs> doubling down there, huh? I'm I'm, I'm double shooting it really fast on advantage. Well, the first one hits, up? and the I second one splits the arrow. Turn up. So you just pulled yourself a Robin Hood there, and the turnip has exploded at this point. <laughs> yeah, I still have turnips. another one that Ayumi and Shushana want to oh, shoot again. Oh, there you That's go. That's all my tips for yesterday. Tips. Rotten kit, yeah. turn up explosion! Uh, Thursday. Mm. I mean, hey, no one hit the actual snowman. So have some more yeah, so, well, no, Shimshana hit it with that eight. Yeah, the first one oh. So it has a, an arrow instead of a nose. That's a <laughs> warning sign for everyone that travels here. Yeah. Can I use my um, sling or the bow? Uh, either one. You're proficient with either one. We just have to add the uh, bow. <laughs> It'd be the no, same uh, attack roll, though, either way we look at it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you managed to hit the target pretty squarely. I have a stupid idea. So now that uh, that turnip has one lead bullet for an eye... What if I like, like throw up a python in the air and then try to hit it with my hammer, and shoot it at the turnip? <laughs> oh, this is gonna end everywhere. well, isn't it? It's not gonna hit the turnip at all. The like, like shooting a nail with the hammer. You don't yeah. play golf with pythons. Oh no, yeah. tennis. Yeah, th this is a serve. <laughs> okay, in that case. It'd be like hitting an apple with a golf club. Like, I can't roll that thing on attack, though. And, uh, what you're going to do is a strength check know, to throw the python up high enough. An attack oh, roll sorry. at disadvantage to hit it. So wait, I need to do a strength check and then an attack roll at yeah. disadvantage. Strength okay. check to make sure you throw the python high enough to get it to the height, which you do. Oh, you can't have this. Okay, but what should I roll for attack? Because the hammer, I cannot roll that. Um, just just any of your melee weapons. Any? Yeah, uh, not the longsword plus one, obviously, uh, but... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you suddenly tried it. Well, well, it's... Yes! Oh, wow. Not bad. You clip it, now I get to see where it goes. Uh -oh. I mean, I shut it away from the group. Well, that... You hit it, that's all it, that it figures out at this point. We've got a hundred degrees of fun to go now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, good Kronk, give me a party. deck save. <laughs> Gren. Sorry? No. Give, give me deck a deck save. save real quick. Yeah, uh, I hope so. <laughs> yeah! Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Ouch. Oh. oh. Bite onto the face. Oh! What? Yeah, it sinks straight into his arm. <laughs> So Are that's like okay? 10 damage? I'm down to 18. No, 4 damage. Only 4. Oh, okay. The attack roll he made with that damage doesn't represent the python. That's just basically he threw a knife in the air basically and hit. Okay. And well, just... thanks to the beauty of percentage, the direction it went, unfortunately, based off your tokens, was dude gekronk. <laughs> okay. So you guys hear I'm... Ha! Ping! Sunk! Ah! <laughs> Uh, what did me... you do? Do you want you your thing back? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> you want me to pull it out? Yeah, hold He's on, I'll do it. so Please don't use a, a crowbar on that. <laughs> it's because I grow uh, back. I'm not too worried about it. Oh yeah, Ooh, it I slides know. right out with this beautiful, sickening sort of slurp. <laughs> I just hold the pipe on with like two fingers and just shake it off of the blood. Yeah. yeah, I want to say troll blood's kind of a greenish color. No, no, no. Hey, that's it. What fixes okay. this? No, I need to check that. Oh. She was trying to pick her nose and edge the snowman. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Excuse me? <laughs> yeah, apparently, um, according to stuff, uh, troll blood is about a bright lime green color. I have oh. an idea. So apparently they are a copper-based life form. 
Are like you? a Vulcan. <laughs> what would happen? Uh -oh. This is not a living target. I wonder what would happen if I... I... Would play from Ryoko no, no, I wonder if I put this around the snowman for a second. Does oh. the snow change color? Uh, no, the snow does not change color. Uh. It needs to be something that has skin, because it, it uh, changes only skin. Skin, you say? Skin. What if I make a skin suit for the snowman? Yeah, what if I drape some of that giant skin over the yeah. snowman? Well, I mean, oh you can my God, it's gonna make be the most buying. disturbing snowman in all history. The <laughs> dwarves are going to be so baffled. The fuck has and let me, let me like, doodle into its face with my, with my, with my uh, nail, like a really cursed smile, like a really like horrifying smile. So you uh, carve the face of Donald Trump onto the snowman. <laughs> okay. You don't have a wig or anything to equip. I don't even that, know right? who that is. The alternate universe. Yeah. <laughs> Why does it say it's dyed red? <laughs> oh, I thought it was. Damn. It's, it's not red. No, unfortunately, it's not red. <laughs> it's still uh, skin colored. Well, we can make it red. If you oh, want, um, anyone that has skill in Arcana can make a check. Uh, check if the skin is red. You realize it only affects living creatures. Only living creatures, guys. How about we trap something in the snowman that lives? <laughs> oh god! It won't live for very long if it's you know it stuck in snow. I mean, it can be a torture. <laughs> can I? It really sounds like. Can I try to just catch a bunny alive real quick? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna put it into. I'm not gonna turn. I'm not gonna put it into the snowman. We're gonna turn the bunny red, aren't we? I don't find, yeah, but I, I can't find the bunny. The snowman, the snowman turned up, the, the snowman was alive all along. We have been fucking uh, around or something. You really want me to make a snow golem? Because I can. No! <laughs> no. Uh, Shimshana, Olga? Oh. You need a perception check. Oh, Olga's too busy uh, making snowman still. Perception <laughs> check. If there's anything here, does the snowman intimidate them? <laughs> Might disturb them. But we'll find out soon as, uh... Yeah, Shimshana, Ooh. you're the first one to notice them, and your Kronk's the only one that notices uh -oh. them as well. Um, a little bit down the road, there is a group of about five dwarves in heavy armor staring at you with the most just confused fucking look in the world. <laughs> uh, uh. How about we just bring the snowman down? Because they've, they've just watched you drape a, a necklace on it, shoot turnips, cover it with what looked like large pieces of, you know, bald hide from the distance they're at, and you're arguing why it won't change colors. <laughs> so, and one of them notices you two look at him and gets this, oh god, oh god, sort of look as he, you know, nudges the other ones and they start to approach you. Hello, we friends. Should, we should not approach them, we should stealth away. <laughs> No, 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 let them come. But, um, yeah, they, they they get a little bit closer, and... Um, I wave at them. Let me just Hello. go ahead and throw a couple of them out here. Can I quick. hold two sticks in my hands and act like I'm a snowman and stealth we'll just, uh, <laughs> Do you want to try persuading them that we're not crazy yet? <laughs> but one of them looks like he's a little heavier armored than the others, and his armor's a little bit more decorative, probably a captain or a sergeant. And he comes up as... um. Yeah, I mean, yes, I'm eating all the muffins when you're not looking. <laughs> what? <laughs> Real life thing. Oh, okay. I was like, what the? Oh, muffins oh, all of a sudden? Wait, wait to get muffins. <laughs> From the store. He went to the grocery store. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, <laughs> but no, they, they okay. kind of walk up with that sort of, they're afraid someone's going to try to eat their face look on their faces. And go, um, <laughs> oh there, travelers. Hello. Shimshana is gonna sweet talk them a little. Oh yeah. Bit. Yep. I I I grew. I my doctor family's dwarves. Oh yeah. Mhm. Mm you know what to you say to dwarves. Yeah. Which uh, I'll go ahead and grant you with this persuasion check. Uh, you recognize that the emblems they wear, they are troops of Silverfrost. We could probably. Do we want to we wanna tell them about the thing? Yeah, we've got one of those. Uh, or nuggets we can show them and let them yeah. know that we found the stuff. 
Yeah, we found the, we have been dealing with the missing carriages. Yeah. Yeah. Shimshana was yeah. trying to talk to him, so what are you telling them, Shimshana? I'm you... telling them we're not crazy, we're experimenting, also um, asking about where we can... Uh, we're, we're, but... we're telling them that we found the orb. Oh, we found their orb. Yeah. Well, they kind of go through a range of emotions as you're explaining this to them, from what to huh to... Oh, crap, or Money? <laughs> <laughs> right, um, or, um, do you, do you have samples? Wait, can I do a perception check yep. to see if these are actually, like, uh, like, responsible people? Inside. We... Inside. Perception will just tell you that they're dwarves. Yeah. I want to see if these, okay, I don't see, I I don't see if they are trustworthy. They look very dwarvish to you. I want to know if they're trustworthy. I mean, you're pretty sure you can trust them. They look like... You know, legit guards. Okay. Who should okay. we report about this fight we have? Well, um... I'll, I'll pull one of the oars out of the bag. Yeah, you trust him completely, Olga. To... Like his eye... Which, uh, which piece of ore are you pulling out of the bag? What was the most adamantine expensive one. adamantine? It was the adamantine. Yeah, yeah that one. Yeah, the, the you pulled out, it was like, Oh, um... Um, and he whistles and... Over the hill, four more dwarves come pulling uh, giant rams with them. Mount them up and get them back to the, the thing. They found it. There were a oh, yeah. lot of it. And like they just start uh, manhandling you onto rams. Ah. Oh, I can tell you where it was. I marked the, I marked the spot on the road. Don't matter. You go talk to him first. Go there first. Oh, forgot to put those guys there. Give me a second. Um, where are... Boop. I'm being carried by lots of hands. It feels good. Oh god, yeah. Big, rough, manly dwarf hands. Used to just build... Holy uh, shit, this is a city, uh, alright? Yeah. Nice like, you get up towards the gate... The last time I was carried by a dwarf was when I was, like, four. Well, I mean, they're still strong, tough little dwarfs. They're shield dwarfs, so they are not a slouch by any, any means of the, uh... The term. There we go. Now you should it be able to see like it. Looks like fancy city, so we'll have to uh, not do anything too upsetting. <laughs> yeah. No yeah. Yeah. But like, nice as you're sh- riding up to the gate, there's you see there's several heavily armored dwarves at the gate, and what you believe is an actual steamwork uh, clockwork golem as well. Cool. Oh, and they, shit. you know, see the the you know the the dwarf that was talking to you riding up. Open the gate! They found the thane's horn and. They fucking throw it open, and you st- are literally just kind of run full tilt through the city, like fucking blindingly fast. You just see dwarves basically ushering you to the center spire. The whole time, all you can really do is smell cooking meat, burning coal, the sound, the smell of you know hot metal, things like that. And they get you to the center of this building, and these these dwarves are even more heavily armored. And even more extravagantly, you know, armed. Like, these guys are fucking decked. And oh, they, they shout something. Shimshana understands them because she speaks Dwarvish. Even though it's showing Elvish again for some silly reason. Oh, is it still? Yeah, I don't I know why. Because I know that. you changed it, so. Yeah. yeah just Could poke it and we'll update it again sometime. But, you know. Oh, they, it back. You you hear them uh, shouting. They found the, the the lost shipments. They found them. Let them in. They need to talk to the Thane right away. And you get you know once you get up to the gate, they you know there's a couple dwarfs that grab the rams, help you down from the rams, and a bunch of these very elaborately, which Shimshana you recognize them as Thanish guards, basically the equivalent of a royal guardsman, Ooh. start uh, ushering you into the building through several oh, checkpoints. Shit. Through a lot of your know, opening and closing, very fancy percolases and doors and things like that, which occasionally you can hear what sounds like a lot of rushing water happening when one of the doors open. Ooh, I draw like a. Till eventually you get into a. I, I can't draw, so I can't. I would have drawn it otherwise. And just a fucking fantastic looking throne room, which you're pretty sure the walls are la- laced with gold, silvers, and other ores. And situated in the center of a magma pool, about 20 feet up, over a fairly wide bridge, is the Thane's throne. There's nothing else it could be. 
And this thing, you're pretty sure it's solid, you know, precious metals. You've seen, you see a couple of gemstones at least the size of your head mounting the, the, the two uh, top parts of the uh, the throne, like the re left and right, instead of it being like table legs sticking up, it's two gigantic ass gemstones, which you think this? might be rubies, <laughs> judging from the color of the red. I ate nothing but sugar, I'm freaking out. And um, so something so expensive happy. before. Sitting, on, yeah, sitting in the throne, which is extremely large for a dwarf. I mean, you're pretty sure a uh, hill giant could probably make a seat in this thing comfortably. What is fuck? one dwarf who seems to be dressed in maybe silk robes, you think? And even by dwarf standards, he looks old. Not weak, but old. Okay. And he stands Hello. up, looks at you, and... I hear you bring news. Let me hear it. Uh, you guys were missing ore carriages, right? Well, we might have found the problem and uh, dispatched of the problem at the same time and found the ore. That's good news if it's true. Elaborate. Uh, well, we have one piece of ore to prove. We've uh, adamant, was it? Um, gold, adamantine. Both. Myth and Mithril. And I Iron, too. You see him uh, kind of wave to the side, and a very thin looking dwarf that looks like a, you know, he probably lived his life inside of a book somewhere, comes scurrying out from behind the throne, wearing really thick goggles. You can't, well, if you want to try to make a perception check, you can maybe hear what he's saying, but Shimshana's the only one that would understand. I could try to re reiterate the words. You can't quite make it over the noise and the bubbling and everything else. He's just too far away. But uh, the little guy comes skittering over and stops in front of Ryoko, so she was the one talking. Goes, "May I see, please, see the ore, please? Yes." Uh, sure. Here you I go. I had to go over. Oh, you yeah, but, I don't hold. I do not hold out the ore. I hold out the wizard with the ore. <laughs> you get kind of an odd look for that one, but you know, the dwarf takes the the ore without any real questions. You see him kind of twig around the the goggles, twisting it here, muttering something there. Shimshana, you can make him out, saying out purity. Does it have the mark? Oh, the smells familiar. Things like that. And he hands it back to you, runs back to the Thane, says something in his ear, and the Thane goes, You do bring good tidings! Excellent! We have, uh, we know the approximate amounts that were in the cave, so if we want, we could uh, tell them how many kilograms of each we found, and see if that matches what they were missing on their manifest. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I, you, you can. can. Yeah. You can also <laughs> mention the little mark that Kroko left. Yeah, well, yeah, that's my thing! Okay, okay. <laughs> But yeah, you guys start apparently just vomiting information up at him. Yeah. And which oh, yeah. he takes it all in stride and, you know, nods when you guys list, well, we think it's about this much of this, this much of this, this much of this. You can hear him say, that's a pretty close to what we had. It should, you know, we'll figure out the exact amounts later. You know, that uh, he, you know, goes, I okay, well, yeah. I'm familiar with this area. We now know what to look for. Uh, Shimshana, you hear him shouting very, very loud Dorvish. Ready the men! Send them out! We found it! Wait, before that, I just imagine, like, of Rax, like, just pushing my, like, tell them, tell them about the python! <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, it's like, yeah. you guys are just bickering among yourselves, and he's just taking it all in. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm telling them that I left a mark on the road, next to the roads, um, a python in the grounds. From there, you have to just go west till you reach a lake, and past that lake is a cab well, cavern. River. Which it was next to a river. Yeah, river. Not river lake. Yeah, uh, past that lake, or uh, river, river. Past <laughs> that river is um, a cave where the Yetis hoarded all the ore. Yeah, he nods to you. You know, a few minutes later after he shouts for those, you see some very heavily armored, you're assuming maybe captains. Come in, you know, he barks some orders at him. Shimshana, you understand him saying, pretty much echoing what uh, Ryoko just said for the directions, and okay. saying to bring as many ore carts and strong uh, rams as they can to carry it back. There is also a giant that is 
uh, happy to help you guys if you pay him. You say that and you get you feel the temperature of the room drop. <laughs> Even with the magma nearby. <laughs> I think it was like what is cloud? Cloud cloud child? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Dongling, yeah. yeah. Dongling. Which, uh, Shimshana, you you understand uh, the thing when he's swearing and calling the giants various, you know, names that dwarves call giants. It was, um, very nice to us. We don't deal with the giant kin well. Lots of bad blood. Oh, okay. That's understandable. He didn't seem to have any anger towards you, though, but... We understand. But thank you for the warning. We'll keep an eye out. Oh, fuck. He's harmless. He's very harmless. Please don't harm him. Oh, you get a, a look at the, There are no harmless giants. I mean, he could do a severe amount of damage, but he wouldn't. He's a kind giant. Oh, oh my god. Wow. Well, both of you suddenly remember. Oh, yeah. You have a hill giant ear in your bag. Oh. Yeah, I've got okay. that. I just didn't know if you could trade it in here. I mean, you're pretty sure with as much hate as they just spouted towards the giant you said was friendly, okay. you'll probably get a better price here than you would in most other places. I guess then let's we pull it out. We dealt off with one giant that was not nice, but Darwin was... He yeah. talked to us about... Yes. No, 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 no. Talk more about the one that uh, wasn't nice. You get rid of it? <laughs> uh, yes. yes. Oh, yeah. ah, we have proof, too. Uh, it was to kill or be killed. Well, that's usually how it is with giants. You, Shemshana, yeah. you hear him shout, uh, uh, fetch the marshal. You know, he yells again. And a... For lack of a better word, it's a very socially acceptably dressed dwarf that comes in. Like, not quite silk, but it would something that you would see someone wear to a more upscale sort of... Uh, event but still functional and he comes over um are you going to try to sell the skin no i'm just showing them so they Ah. yeah they they kind of look at you funny with the skin but they they're more than willing to accept the ear the both ears we took both well they only play once per giant damn Uh it's like you can keep the ears we just wanted to see the proof which, oh. uh, for looking at the size and everything, it was a typical hill giant. And he reaches inside of his vest and pulls out a bag. He goes, five platinums, the going bounty. Uh, whoa. <laughs> nice. Hey. One each. Everyone gets one. Yeah, he kind of yeah, yeah. looks at your eyes, but he's like, no, nah, this is fair, fair, fair price. We've seen them crush carts from 100 yards with their rocks. Taking uh, one down is no small feat. Me. Yeah. Yeah, she took a rock right to the face. I'm surprised you're still alive and breathing. Well, I mean, I am quite heavy with these scales. They can hold out a lot. Yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure a boulder falls on you. You're going to feel it, heavy as they are. Yeah, I feel it. That's for sure. But uh, we do thank you for the service that you've provided by removing one of those terrible nuisances. And he nods to the Thane, and they nods back, and he takes his leave. It's like, um, but the Thane goes, "We're going. We will continue this in more hospitable conditions. I assume you're hungry from your travels." Always. Yes. I'm not hungry, hungry people. <laughs> Rush past everyone's back. Manners, manners. <laughs> Please, <laughs> Oh, the, the thing kind of chuckles seeing you freak out like that, Rax, but... Discipline. I'm pure discipline as a samurai. But, um, no, he, he gets a couple guards to help start leading you towards a side room that you didn't even notice there was a door to till somebody opens it. It's that smoothly ingrained into the, the wall. And inside is a beautiful, beautiful banquet hall. The, the, the... Chairs and tables are all very, very nice, probably mahogany wood, good, heavy, solid woods. They're all very yeah. carefully etched. Oh, the God. plates are actually pure silver, oh, so God. is the silverware. It's dead. It's dead. Yeah, it's very dead. <laughs> very, very dead. Like, dwarven table thing. 
with like oh. a giant long table. Uh oh, what were you trying to? Were you trying to hit on the the table, Gakronk? Yeah, they're too snooty for me. Yeah, it's it's a little bit too uh, too much of a high society table to deal with you and your blights. <laughs> At the very least, you, it doesn't answer. One of the chairs seems mildly impressed. <laughs> okay. But um, how does it seem mildly impressed? He's a ranger. He knows these yeah, things. Did, it, did, the, did the chair just turn slightly towards him? I don't know, but it seems more comfortable to him than the others. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the, the glasses you're pretty sure are made out of carved crystal. I mean, this shit is top top notch, and you're pretty sure any human king would shit himself to have any part of this. Yep. I want to see if they have alcohol on the table. Oh, God, yes. Uh, I want to... Okay, I want to... Okay, let me don't re reiterate that. Drunk. I want to... No, I want to go to a position where there's the most and tastiest looking alcohol on right, the table. You, you don't have to. <laughs> like, as soon as the okay. thing comes in, servants come out of the literal fucking woodwork, practically. Plates of food bottles of alcohol and it's not just oh here have a little bit of a snifter no like these these are basically glass beer steins that you have and they're filling them with whatever this this is i'm Wait. trying to persuade uh rio konacha overdo drinking I'm not gonna, uh, I'm gonna this is going to be a hard hard sell. Because sort of yeah. um, Shimshana, you uh, immediately recognize this booze from the smell. It's Dorvin Spirits. <laughs> okay. This shit is top shelf, knock you on your ass good. Yeah. <laughs> you may not know exactly how it's brewed, except you know from mostly mushrooms, but you know this stuff does not fuck around. But unlike yeah. a rot gut, like it goes down smooth and easy. Did they pour us a full fucking cup? Yeah, like, like you know your shit? your good old German beer steins. That's basically what you have in front of you. <laughs> that's a full fucking liter. If yeah. you get the big ones, it's two. Yeah. It's the two ones. It's the gigantic ass ones. Dwarfs don't fuck around oh, when they're drinking. So, give it a shot. You know, they I also bring out several uh, several different beers as well, but you're you're the esteemed guest of the Thane. You get the top shelf. Do you mind if I have yours, Rex? <laughs> yes! No, but I have an idea. I have Rex! An idea. Rex! I have an idea. It smells I, like charcoal. I wanna, look, I, I, I pulled out one of my oh, empty shit. wine bottles, and I want to I wanna tell them uh, I'm going to pour it in here. Oh. I'm going to use it for that. That they will see it. That you are just a sweet. Not if I do alcohol? it under the table. Not if I do it under the table, Cobb. I under think the they'll. <laughs> I think they'll notice a missing two liter stein. <laughs> they will see it. I mean, I you. Whole stein. Well, we're just. We're just making it look like Rax drank the whole thing already, and I. Well, I poured in. Poured into the bottle. Uh, yeah, you can see that there's eyes on you. Not like okay, hostile not eyes, but very much. We don't want you to steal the silverware, sort of eyes. No, I want to steal the silver. I want to steal the thing that's in the in the. Oh, in the I know, but they're they're watching you. They're not doing anything, but you see them watching you. Um, Wait, here's the fun wanna, part, though. I, I look at them. I want to say, uh, if I can't finish this, can I take the rest with me in my own bottle? Oops. They kind of smile and what? nod at you. <laughs> oh no. Uh, I'm. I don't mind if I can't. No, by all means. Okay. Take some. No, you're not. You were not drinking yours, right? I am not. Okay. Not well, yet, at least. It smells into the good, bottle it goes. Oh shit! I'm not drinking. Still, you drink it after. Okay we, then. Um. You get wily. Ah. Uh, no, no. This is where it gets fun. Well, you aren't hurt, thankfully. But as soon as you pour it in the, the bottle, the glass shatters. <laughs> and all the dwarves start laughing their asses off at you. <laughs> and one of them, you know, them kind of claps you on the back and goes, You fool! You can't put spirits in the glass! <laughs> you gotta keep it in crystal or else it explodes that shit! It doesn't look like silicone at all! <laughs> Where the fuck do I get a crystal bottle? That sounds so expensive. Oh, they <laughs> are. <laughs> we have one. It's like, uh, he, he kind of nods towards Shimsana because he can see her, you know, nodding knowingly. He's like, 
That one knows. Usually when you buy it outside of a door of a hold, you get it in a... And he kind of holds up a pair of fingers that is, like, almost thimble-sized. <laughs> About can like I, this much. <laughs> can I uh, persuade him by looking sad and asking? I was so looking forward to taking this alcohol with me <laughs> to maybe, like, get a chance at him giving me a good deal on a crystal bottle or just sneaking me one under the floorboard. <laughs> Uh, he's not gonna go against the Thane, I'll tell you that much. It's you like you, he'll bring. They're they're willing to bring you as much as you can guzzle, but you'll have to pay or maybe negotiate to walk out with okay. any. Okay, I have an idea. Oh no! How about I just keep as much as possible before we leave in my mouth and use that as a carrier? <laughs> I want to see these negotiations go. <laughs> so what do you want, bro? <laughs> Just gurgling. <laughs> Just kind of drool it all over your shirt. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of constitution. But uh, as soon as soon as they get all the 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 plate set, the thing so sounds like, eat your fill. But uh, we're gonna talk business. You are all owed a reward. We were unable to find these shipments, and by all means, it's quite a bit. So I'm more than willing to uh, compensate you for what you found. Oh. That sounds very pleasant. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's yeah. business. It'd be bad business not to reward those that found what we lost. And the fact that you brought it to us, it's honest folk, and we like to make sure that honest folk stay honest. So, I'm what are you looking nice for? Criminal. Money, Same. gear, <laughs> information. Um, Anything within reason we can figure out something I mean gear always sounds very pleasant do you know anyone who could turn winter wolf hides into magical armor actually yes we have a, a very skilled leather worker that could possibly make that for you and Ooh. I have one very special team. Well, well ask but I'm not sure if you guys can do it but I need a spell that I can use to spice someone. You know uh, the squirrel spell? He kind of looks at you as well. We don't have many powerful mages, but I think I might have something for you, if that's the case. And he leans over and whispers into somebody's ear, and, you know, he goes running out of the room. It's like, I'm gonna have them check on something uh, in the treasure hold for you, we mageling. We might be able to still help you with that. Oh, uh, thank you! You wouldn't, you wouldn't happen to have an upgrade to this uh, sword and shield I carry, would you? Um, we can certainly sword upgrade that shield. It just looks like a normal shield to me. Yeah, this shield is surely as plain as it one can be. <laughs> I, mean... I can't wait to collect our loot and go shopping. <laughs> <laughs> I want to swap out my little swing for maybe uh, a hand bow or a hand you Something. guys might want some uh, magic armor if it's possible. Yeah, magic armor and a magic shield. Wars that's what are I'm very after. good with that stuff. I'm looking for anything defensive. Well, um, we certainly have quite a few things that you could consider defensive. But uh, would you prefer oh, you an armor or a shield? <laughs> or a helm? Um... Uh, well, I, I would need a like a, a hide armor or leather armor. Mm. Yeah, Don't no, have too many have magical ones of those heavy. laying around, but or, we can definitely hook you up with a shield. Yeah, a shield sounds wonderful too. And if you have it, a maybe a cool weapon or an accessory. Or uh, protective charms to work too. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, I see what we can work out on that, but uh, let's see what accessory. the rest of you might mm -hmm. want first. I wouldn't mind armor and a charm, but probably just the armor. What kind of armor, Lassie? Hmm. When that armor is you... about boobs. Female. Well, I mean, yeah, we can yeah, fashion no. it to show whatever bit you want. <laughs> <laughs> Joker <-ish. laughs> <laughs> Hmm. You can. You have two options: get plus one on your persuasion and show tits, or get plus one on your AC. Or, uh... <laughs> <laughs> it's like, but um, let's see. For you, and out of one of the doors, a dwarf comes out carrying something covered <laughs> with a cloth. Well, your tits, your tits are a little too high up for his liking, but... Uh, <laughs> underboob? Yeah, the, the, they don't like the underboob. It makes him feel small. 
They don't like that. Aww. But, oh, um, oh, okay. It's like, uh, <laughs> they come out with this, what you thought was a plate at first, Ryoko, but they uncover it, and it is one of the most ornate shields you have ever seen. You're pretty sure it's made oh. out of bronze, and it's studded with multitudes of gemstones of varying colors. Holy and he shit. sets it down on the, the table next to you, and uh, the thing goes, this... Is a spell guard shield. Like that. Spell dodge shield? Guard. Guard. Oh, that sounds wonderful. <laughs> Given that you uh, use weapons like a real fighter, I figure something that might help you with any sort of. Um, and he doesn't really give you a dirty look, Rax, but kind of a disapproving look. <laughs> you know, wiggle finger trickery. This will help you with that. <laughs> oh, that is wonderful. Would you. Do you know what it exactly does? Um, it helps you against the spells. Uh, if you want, uh, Rax, give me an Arcana check to translate into more game terms. That's Ooh. enough. Basically, game turn wa term wise, it doesn't raise your AC, but it gives you advantage against any spell based check. Oh, so like uh, in intelligence, spells, wisdom. Like spells, any spells. any save that you have to make against any magical effect, you have advantage. Oh, the cone of gold. And oh, any the any magical oh, attacks against you holy that shit. are uh, an actual attack roll are at disadvantage. Oh, what was the disadvantage again? If uh, someone tries to make a spell attack on you, like if Rax tried to hit you with firebolt, it is oh, at disadvantage. Shit. That's fucking good. Yeah. That's very good. So uh, it was called what? So I can add it on D and D. Beyond. No, God, I can't spell. <laughs> uh, sh spell there. guard. Yeah, spell guard shield. I cannot spell this morning. <laughs> oh um, my God. As for weird. Shimshana. Oh my. <laughs> They come out I with a very large leather bag and open it up and the dwarf that's carrying it pulls out probably the most beautiful piece of armor you have ever seen. Oh, it no. looks like it's almost made out of liquid silver. It's a chain shirt. You recognize it fairly easily. It's elven chain. Oh, wow. Oh my god, these dwarves aren't kidding around. So... He's like, uh, Lassie, we figured this one would suit your tastes and serve you well. Oh, thank you, thank you. Ah, thank you. Uh, what? Oh, Master Mage, we have two things for you. And uh, a couple dwarves come out, one of which is carrying a small crystal ball. Oh. Is, um... We used to have a uh, seer in town that used this. It uh, let them scry once a day. Oh, thank you. So please take it with our our, uh, our thanks. And the other thing we have for you. Once again, they come out with a small little leather bag and start unfolding a robe in front of you. <clears throat> Sorry. Mm. And the the cloak once they, they you think that they're it, it's odd because when they start pulling it out it seems like they're pulling darkness itself out of the box until it starts about halfway out in which it looks like the stars in the sky are in the robe itself. Oh. And he holds it out to you and says, this is a robe of stars. I think it would serve one of your elk very well. Oh, thank you. What much? Take it with our thanks. You weren't kidding with the gems. I, I see the shield. <laughs> yeah. It is a very beautiful shield. And he uh, looks at Yugurt Kronk. What can we get you, Ranger? Sorry, me? Yes, yeah. you. <laughs> um, well, at the moment, I, my weapons are a little bit lacking. So if you could find a... Uh, a weapon with some finesse that I that has uh, a little more bite than these scimitars that I got off bandits. 
Aye, we can, we can indeed do that one. Uh, where was it? I had one, a couple in mind, actually. <laughs> I figured you were going to ask for scimitars, so. Ugh. Armor's really slick looking. Mm. <laughs> I'm going to try the weapon on my shield. Oh, pardon me. Mm. <laughs> uh. And the world shook when the DM burped. Ah, yeah, the, that? the world right. itself shakes. Yep. Yeah. <sighs> Okay, we'll probably have to add this in because I don't see it in the uh, easily access stuff, but um, if it's not in there, I'll add it myself. They bring out, uh, after after a couple second, uh, a couple minutes, they come out with two scimitars. Ooh. And, um, oops. He's like, uh, the first one he holds out is f fairly ornate, but he's like, the, this one is just a plain magical one. But uh, the other one, and he hands it over to you, this one is an Ice Bane scimitar. And the, the one that they unwrap second is almost a, a silvery ice sheen to the entire thing. Wow. That looks very nice. Thank you very much. Ah, uh, no. Once again, thank you. Now, as for you, Lady Orc, what can we serve you with? Um, I'm not exactly sure what I want, but I know I was wanting to swap out my skin for something better. Your what? Oh, it's like, I think if you just ask him for a regular crossbow or something, they'll hook you up with that. They're asking more a special thing for you. I could, use a, I could use a weapon or two that would help out with the fact that I can only attack once right now with my glaive. As much as I love my glaive. I mean, there's not... I, I can tell you right now, there's not something that adds extra attacks for you. But... He thinks about it and goes, Given what you've fought already, I think I, we might have just the thing for you. Said you use a glaive, yeah? Yes, sir. Go fetch it. One of the doors run off. Comes back a couple minutes later with a very odd looking glaive. It looks like it's almost made out of a, a, a rock or a bone of some sort. And they place it down on the table. And he goes, that there is a giant slaying glaive. Ooh. Ooh. Given that you have already run afoul of one of them, I think it might serve you well in the future. I thank him greatly. He nods back at you. And <laughs> if you want hugs, I'm sure you could probably ask him for a hug. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, he seems in a very, very happy mood right now, so... I basically treat him like I treat the, the shop owner where I live. <laughs> I treat him very respectfully. Oh, I mean, yeah. It's like, uh... uh <laughs> God, group bug. <laughs> uh, but, uh... Um, I, <laughs> I wanted to ask the dwarf something before I joined you. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I wanted to ask him if he maybe had something I could... I, I'm willing to purchase something like that that would help me with uh, faster movement or perhaps even... Um, uh, now I forgot what I... Uh, uh, something like a pr protective accessory. Or something uh, like we might be able to... Or... You might be able to purchase a few rings from the quartermaster, but uh, haste, I wish we had boots like that. 
Anything? Can you imagine a dwarf speeding across the snow? <laughs> It'd scare the shit out of any man that saw it. <laughs> or would you be able to uh, exchange this longsword for something? If I'm willing to pay on, on that. Uh, we might be able to work out something with it. What were you having in mind, though? Um, honestly, I'm just looking for something that packs a punch. I mean, you already have a magic blade. It's hard to find, Oh yeah. you know, more powerful than that just laying around. Oh yeah, that's why I'm willing to pay a price. Uh, ooh. I'm beginning to think you may not understand the price. <laughs> but, tell you what, since you did do us a favor, we'll get you, uh, I can think of one. One that might be able to help you with this. Oh. And he whistles and... I should have asked for like an alcohol resistance charm. <laughs> God. Oh, but then you wouldn't be able to get drunk. Well, I can Drunk's take it drunk. off. <laughs> God. Oh, God. Drink too much, take it off, and immediately die of alcohol poisoning. Yep, I just All try right. to deceive, deceive everyone. <laughs> That I'm, Is I'm a crossbow considered better than a, a longbow? I'm sorry, what? Is a crossbow considered better than a longbow? A crossbow does a higher uh, amount of damage, but a heavy crossbow, like, you have to spend a movement action to rewind, except when you have strength like yours. Because you don't actually have to wind it, you just grab the damn string and pull it back. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was thinking, I was wanting the one that would help me more like that if I need the ring because I'm not going to always want rings I mean they could uh, if you're just planning on a brief range thing your best bet is just going to be <clears throat> pardon me would be just getting a crossbow because you're probably just going to shoot it once and then smack down whatever the fuck you want and even if you need to shoot it again like I said you're so damn strong you can just shoot it every damn turn. Okay, I was just making sure because um, if the bow was better, I wanted to that. So. If I remember right, a heavy crossbow does a d10 and a longbow does a d8. Okay. Yep, d8 on the longbow. So, but... Oh, yeah. um, so, I guess I'll take the head crossbow then. Yeah, uh, the the thing does ask you, uh, do you have a preference on what kind of weapon it be? Oh wait, me? Yes, you. <laughs> oh, uh, I wasn't sure who was talking to. Um, I would say something to the equivalent of this that I can wield with one hand, preferably. I can think of one thing, but, uh... Something that does, like, like, like in game terms, like a D10, I guess, or something like that. Mm, we won't find any one-handed, but uh, he does pull out something that would be comparable. Oh. It's like, I am going to have to charge you for this one. Bring it out, boys. And he brings out what you think at first is a bronze longsword. And he holds it and says a word, and it bursts into flames. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh. This is a flame nice, tongue. Nice, 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 nice. Unfortunately, I can't just give this one to you and the shield. Yeah, I, I, understand, I understand, of course. Uh, how much would you want for that? Well, if you're trading in the that sword, I could charge you, say, a, a thousand gold and call it even. Okay, um, can I test the test run first? He hands it over to you. Fire! Which, um... Do I, can I... He points to the, the hilt, and you see there is a word inscribed on it. Which he, um, he repeats to you. I don't want to make up a magic word, because I don't want to be asked for it later. <laughs> Say it's Shazam, for all I care, but... <laughs> or some fun German thing. <laughs> Infriga. <laughs> you know, and you say the word, and sure enough, boom, fire. <laughs> And while it is burning and everyone around you can feel a, a f heat from the flame, you don't feel any heat from it. Oh. If um, you need more funds, I'll pitch towards you. Oh, yeah. uh, like, uh, or, if you prefer, you can take that and we'll take back the shield. Um, 
Do you have a like a target, a dummy target I can swipe with this at? You can see that he's tempted to say a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. And sort of stops himself for a second and goes, Do not hit me. I don't keep practice dummies in me halls, unfortunately. I mean, it's a sword that's on fire. What do you think it's going to do? Well, I don't. The thing. The problem I don't know is if it does also have the plus one or not. That's oh, yes, it has the plus one. Oh, okay. It's, it's very much magical. <laughs> okay, so. How much? A thousand gold and his sword. Yeah. Um, yeah. I have 670 gold right now. I can... I'll pitch... Uh, mm. I'll pitch in 300 gold. Oh, shit. I can give all, all of my gold to... What? That? Okay, wait, let me... I mean, I have black too. I but... mean, that would make just yeah. enough to pay it off. So, from just a hundred and the you said you had six hundred something, the three hundred from Gunkronk and a hundred from Rax yeah. would put you at a thousand. One thousand one hundred forty-two. Uh, I guess I'll just pay all my gold. So I'll let me uh, put every like every coinage I have to zero on D and D Beyond right now. Okay. <laughs> Goodbye, 38 platinum. Goodbye, 241 gold. Goodbye, 78 electrum. Goodbye, 109 silver. And goodbye, <laughs> 2 copper. No, you keep the copper. <laughs> I keep the copper. Yeah. And, and goodbye, um, plus one sword. Nice. Hello, flame, um, long sword, flame tongue. Here, take it. You know, one of the, the servants grab it and then the gold and scurries away. You drive a good deal, but uh, given the service you provide, it's well worth it. I appreciate it greatly. Mm. He, and he um, nods. <laughs> I have, let's see, how much do I have left now? I have 142 left that you guys gave me extra. Give it Get back. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what? Go oh. for it. Give it. Yeah. I, I don't need it crazy. now. But um, you better I'll, buy me something when I need it. I'll call some me tonight. I would have been anyway. Don't use it on booze! No, you kidding oh, me? You guys already get free friggin' Dwarven Spirits. You don't need to pay a penny on booze right now. I'm in a good mood. I want to have um, a toast with everyone. Uh, before you manage the toast, you see someone run up and whisper something in the Thane's ear, which he nods and goes, Blue one! I hear you're looking for a very special something to bring back a very fair, special someone to you. I was wondering if we should mention that. Uh... Yes, in fact, I do. We had some... Oh, do you know? <laughs> we have our uh, connections. As for oh, that... Church, tell you. No. <laughs> what church? Uh, no, we... I'm sorry. <laughs> he kind of shakes his head, but no. We've heard um, fairly reliable rumors that there may be an item to help you in the, the, the jungles of the east. In old yes. ruins called the Serpent Ruins. Or something of those ilk. It translates very oddly to the common tongue. It was uh, apparently a part of a snake god's church. As far as we know, no more snakes in there. But um, we have we tried to send a couple god. people in there. And they have not come out. But uh, old rumors and tales tell of uh, extremely powerful wish-granting capabilities of those that may be able to complete the trials in that temple. We don't know if it's sure or not, like I said. No one's gone through. But it may I'm be of like, interest to you. I'm just like out of words. Like, uh, that was more worth to me than both the shield and the sword together. Does that mean I can take those back? Well, I'm just saying. <laughs> and I wanna, I'm joking I wanna, with you, young one. I'm joking. I want <laughs> Information I for this mind. is a well-priced worth paying. Besides, we trade fairly for that, that sword, and you earned the shield. Oh, I appreciate it, and I want to hold out my mug and for a toast with him. He holds it back out at you. Hopefully, to a long 
fruitful business venture with Olius. And that he downs wonderful. the entirety of his, his stein. I don't think I cast your name yet. Ah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they do only recur to me as Thane, don't they? Yeah, old habits. Everyone around here knows my name, so I very, very rarely need to introduce myself. My name is Thane Thurgwin Crackskull. Ooh. Which, um, yeah. Shimshana, you do recognize the name. It is a very old and very illustrious Dwarven clan. Known for, yeah, like known for all sorts of just <laughs> Dwarven heroism thing. But was he Dan Thirdwin? No, he was. I don't think I caught that. Thane. I, I only caught Crag Skull. Thane Thirdwin. Oh, Thane. Thane's like the title. Um, yeah. Just to check, was that oh. the uh, Frost Brand Scimitar that I got there? Correct. Alright, I will add it to my DVD. Oh, yeah. Which, yeah, I, I see it's about time for you to go to your work, Thank so you. <laughs> we will call it here, but with one last little happy thing. You leveled! Ah. Congratulations on hitting level four. Hell yeah. And wait, what was the name of the sword? It is a uh, flame, tongue, flame Tongue Longsword. Damn, that looks badass. Yeah, the crystal ball was... Is it the Atune Recruitment one, or is it uh, the special this one? This one I'm going to probably have just... to specially make it, because it's a, only a once-per-day okay. thing, rather than the multiple charges. Okay, okay. Yeah, I was going to check if it's the crystal ball on D&D Beyond or not, but... Yeah, it's, it's similar, but thing. it's going to have a slightly different functionality, so I'm going to have to change it, and yeah. since it's once per day, it's not going to require a, um, a uh, an attunement. Cool. It's going to be more yeah. like a once per day minor magical item. Okay. Very weird question, but I can I make up the word that it says on my sword because we didn't really... <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's that's fine. <laughs> Hell yeah. It's like, I, like I said, I don't want to think of a magical word. If you've got one that tickles your pickle, by all means, name it. <laughs> by the power of blueberry. Oh, God. Oh, the blueberry's a gray skull. <laughs> Blueberry coleslaw. No. Please, no. You, you wanted to name a horse after coleslaw, didn't you? I did. <laughs> uh, well, we're gonna do it when I get one in here, too, yeah. <laughs> You're gonna buy a horse. I okay. certainly will. Coleslaw, and then have me eat it. No. <laughs> You're not eating the horse. Aww. It's alive. Not real. Um, <laughs> I can all the flames when I pull out my sword. Any non-magical flame. I just read up on it so I can unsheathe it once per day, put it all the fires near me. Cool. <laughs> I have to say the word twice to get it, put it, or again to put it off, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. It is considered a bonus action to do either one of those, so... I'm 100% going to sheathe it with its flame mode on at one point. Yeah, which could be very interesting. Thankfully, most sheaths are metal. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so... I want to change the name of this. There we go. That should add it. Okay. Um, if you want to add the crystal ball to your character, Rax, it's going to be called the Crystal Ball of Raxness. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So it'll only have that one charge of scrying per day. No other special abilities should not... Uh, if it shows it needs attunement, ignore that. And I'll remove it. <laughs> yeah. So. But yeah, it should be fairly easy to find under that. Yeah, I found it. There it is. Okay. Did it... Now, let me... I see it shows that. Give me a second. Let me edit that real fast and remove the attunement. Uh, no. We do not want attunement. Stop. Save. Stop. There. Okay. Uh, once you do it again, it should be non-attuned. One scry a day. Okay. Yes, there we go. Okay. Yep. All right. Oh, I, I think I thought of a word. I think I'm going to use uh, my word as phoenix. There you oh, go. Classy. Yeah. Of course, now every time you light it up, it goes, Cree! 
<laughs> There's like a little bird shape that appears with the flames for a second. Yeah, you hear the little, uh, you know, hawk thing. It oh. still wants the attunement, but uh, I can ignore it. Well, like I said, it shouldn't... Uh, pull it up again, it should ignore it. Just delete the old one. Oh, yeah. Now to find my blueberry pixie. I added it again, yeah. but it still says... It yeah, we'll attunement. just ignore it. You can use the scrying without yeah. attunement, so... Yeah. Though the robe, I believe, does require attunement. Yeah, it does. So... But like I said, I know that uh, Lucid has to get ready for work, so we'll call it there. Yep. All Let's right. see if we That's can good. continue later. Yep. yep. So. I'll, I'll get because I can. Yeah. Don't don't rush, man. Like don't that late, I'm probably going to be half dead anyway. So. I'm I'm worried about people pushing themselves to stay up all night. Yeah. It's like yeah. I I probably will be going to bed about that time because uh, I've got that early work shift and everything. Yeah. Plus, I've got to run another game tomorrow after I'm off work. Oh. Oh. The DM's trying to kill himself. <laughs> oh, I damn it! I forgot to switch the music the entire damn time. I had a song just for Silver Frost. Well, we and things on good terms. Let's all chuck the alcohol we've been given. Oh God, yeah! Like the the food's fantastic. The alcohol's smooth. And anybody that drinks like half the stein, even Gunkronk, is completely hammered. <laughs> First time I've ever been drunk. Oh yeah, it's interesting. I mean, you're not falling over slobbering drunk because uh, you have pretty decent resistance to it, but the pretty colors are happening. <laughs> I could have asked for <laughs> magic wine. <laughs> Sadly, the, I guarantee you, as dwarves, they would never give up willingly an ever-flowing bottle. <laughs> now the chair wants me. Oh yeah, the ch chair is totally all about you. <laughs> yep, have fun at work, so we will pick this up at a later date. So, oh, later. Goodbye. I'm trying to hold up the sword to my arm.